Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to create a Fortnite header in GIMP. So let's get started. It will be a really simple header. Okay. So first open your game, go to file, go to new, and create a document of size 3000 pixel into 1000 pixel. Click OK. So first, what I'm gonna do is just open your browser, any browser you want, and just go to this website fnbr.co. You can get every Fortnite asset here. So firstly just pick any skin you want just like if you pick this one you can just save this skin as save image as and just then import an image here so firstly what I'm gonna do is just import this image here okay I've already got in this image so this image will just scale it a bit I will scale it like this and you can just move around the document by pressing and holding space and just dragging your mouse here and there okay and just scale it as much as you want and click scale okay after finalizing it so what I'm gonna do is just create a new document Oh, create a new page email layer and what I'm gonna do just you can select the loop tool and just create a box thing okay a diagonal box I'm going here then select here then select here then select here then press enter and it will create a selection and I'm gonna fill it with this color I guess just check it this out uh, f3a712 go to edit we will need FG color okay this was a new layer that I had created okay now just click again create a new layer this time just go to select and go to invert okay after inverting it I will just fill this background color here again edit it will fill with background color okay and this part of the layer will be filled this time cause I have inverted the selection here by using this the code for this wide I'm going with is just FFF okay so now what I'm gonna do is just I'm going to go to select and just go to none just hide this image for the minute and I will go to text tool and I am going with go data okay go data wait uh, for the font I'm going with go data and wait 960 so I will go with this color 30030 code I'm gonna type it is Q okay you can go with anything I'm going with it is Q I'm gonna go with it is Q and I will just make it skew um, okay. italic font now just in case it's font size I'm gonna go with 300 okay, make it 4 I'm gonna go with just try to move it I guess this works this works I guess now what I'm gonna do is just will go to this scale tool again and try to scale it but this time I will deselect to uh, maintain this ratio between these I will deselect this option so I can scale it like this just try to fill it between these tools okay Just fill it like this. I guess this works. Now, what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this layer again. Just duplicate this layer by clicking this icon. Just move it above this layer here. And I will go with screen here, okay? Okay okay i will go with overlay so it will lighten it up not for me and now what i'm gonna do is again duplicate this color also and make it above this also and now i'm gonna again change it its color to overlay okay to create an effect i will think 
I will like to lower it more. This only looks cool. Now, if I open this again, it looks good. So now again, I'm going to go with text tool again, and this time I am gonna go with just type small it. Okay, I will lower the font, make it two hundred. Just type eighty. Okay, a uh, small it. You can use anything you want. I'm going with this. So we're going with this. I'm gonna increase this font size to 400, I guess. Oh, again, I will have to go with 600, I guess. Okay, this looks good. Now, just I will make it into the middle and change its color. Okay, we'll just go to text tool again like this and change its color we'll go with this color here yeah. looks good okay this works now what i'm gonna do is just again go to text tool and pick up my text tool again i will lower this font this to 200 this time again type skew okay i guess this size works it's not so big i'm keeping it here now again i'm going to pick up my text tool and lower my size again this time i will try 50 okay i'm just try to type twitter okay i guess this size looks good just drag that above from the rulers above you can drag a, a guide for yourself okay we'll zoom it in by holding control and using my mouse wheel we will just try to type some text twitter like twitter and i will go with facebook now its size should be 50 again again i will type instagram okay this works now i will just adjust it like this and make it work like this i guess i will have to lower this do i know to lower the size to lower their sizes over yeah 30 looks good it also works go over 30 again go over 30 again now i'm gonna just adjust them in between zoom out just Send this guide back again, okay? Check anything? Yeah, it looks good. I think I will increase its size a little bit. First, go with 40 this time. Okay. Then select this. Go to 40. Then select this. And go to 40. It just make try to make gap between them again get a ruler in get a ruler for you yourself okay again i will try to slide it and slide it and try to create space between them just eyeball it okay and i guess this works so what I'm gonna do now? This I will just take it above. Yeah, what happened? Okay. 
now this works i will just create a visible layer new visible new new from visible new layer from visible it will just combine all the layers that is visible currently this shows visibility every layer which has an eye icon in front of them will be turned into a new layer will be combined into a new layer okay i will create a new layer from visible and just drag it above all of these okay so now i'm gonna select this and go to colors and go to curves okay just create a minute s okay just create a minute s to pop the colors okay I guess this one. Click OK. What I'm gonna do is go to colors again and go to color temperature. Now I'm gonna ease my color temperature. Click OK. Now I'm gonna go to colors and go to saturation. Increase my saturation a bit. now this works i guess now what i'm gonna go i'm going to go with filters and go to enhance and go to sharpen and i will sharpen it a bit okay and click ok now what the last thing i'm gonna do is go to filters and go to noise and add a little bit of noise just lower this lightness it okay so that it does not create a, a lot of noise and i will lower my chroma also so it creates a noise like effect which you would have seen a lot you can balance it out and think which looks good okay i guess this works and that's how you can create simple fortnite header in game so thanks for watching like comment subscribe and ask me anything into the comment box if you want to ask me anything see you again guys bye